Hey guys, today I would like to show you how to remove screen time passcode. Uh, for some reason, if you turn on screen time and you forgot your own passcode and you cannot turn it off or you cannot change your screen time passcode. And you can see on my iPhone 5S here, if I try to turn off screen time passcode, it requires me to enter the passcode. But um, if I forgot it, I can just go ahead and remove it without having to lose all of my data. And my iPhone 5S here, you can see I have some photo and video on my uh, photo app here and after uh, the screen time is removed you can still uh, see the photo and the video are still there you need to use the software called ID Lock. it supports both Windows and Mac other than that you can also remove the screen passcode or you can remove the Apple ID if you forgot your own Apple ID but one thing that I encourage you is to use this for your own purposes do not use this to do illegal stuff and now let me go ahead and open uh, ID Lock. So from ID Lock here, you can see I can uh, remove the Apple ID if I forgot my own Apple ID, or I can just uh, remove the screen time passcode. We have iTunes backup, and now what we need to do is uh, to remove the screen time passcode here. So if I click on this option, uh, you can see I can unlock the screen time passcode. You can see the note under that button. Uh, to remove screen time passcode, please disable find my iPhone. If you have iCloud or find my iPhone, it turn on. Uh, make sure you turn it off first. So you need to go ahead and go into setting. And then on the top, you will see your Apple ID. Make sure you go ahead and go into iCloud and turn off find my iPhone. The second one is uh, you will need to reset up your device after removing. Uh, don't worry, this won't lead to data loss. You can see uh, our data will be preserved. And now let's go ahead. Uh, let me go ahead and go back into screen time. And now let me show you one more time. If I try to turn off screen time passcode, I cannot turn turn it off. So now let's go ahead and uh, click on start to unlock. You can see now it is unlocked successfully and it takes just a, a one click or only one click. And you can just do like uh, some few steps and it is very simple. Now in this step click on continue and don't transfer app and data and on uh, touch ID you can set up letter and then for the Apple ID just go ahead and set up letter in setting uh, click on don't use uh, we have express settings click on continue and on uh, update I can just go ahead and install update manually and then on uh, screen time set up letter don't share and now click on get started so if I go back into setting and now if you take a look on screen tab, you can see it just go back into default and it can just go ahead and uh, use screen time one more one more time now uh, let me go ahead and go back into photo and you can see uh, the photo or the video is still there and the data is still preserved thanks for watching i hope you like this quick video then i will see you guys in the next one